this is Richard with Thrift Town. We're going to go over a few questions that may come through um, in the middle of the night that you may have about filling a tank or something dealing with your oxygen or whatever. This is just um, some things to know. Whenever like a call come through or you call us, we'll do some troubleshooting with you over the phone or go through a few things over the phone just to enlighten you and let you know you don't have anything to be afraid of or scared about. If nobody can't come out, we can go over a few things with you right quick. Hey, Mr. Rich, this is Mark. Okay. Hey, I'm having trouble filling up my, my oxygen tank with my home fill station. Can you please help me work through it? Okay. The first thing we want to know, Mr. Mark, is if you have your concentrator on. If the concentrator is on, the next thing I want to know is what's your leader flow on? The little ball? Is it on two or is it below two or is it above two? If it's above two, we have to bring it down because you're not going to be able to fill your tanks if it's over two. If it's under two, it's fine. And we'll move on to the next one. Let's just say it's above two. I mean, it's under two and it's in the right spot. You have that. The next question I'm going to ask you, do you have any kinks that's coming from your bottle and your concentrator? If there's no kinks, then there's a little kink there, but I put that there in an earlier video for everyone to know. So let's take the kink out and let's make sure that everything is tight on your bottle. All this has to be tight. This has to be secure. This bottle top has to be tight and not um, prostrated on top of the bottle. So if all that's straight, let's take your machine, your hose, and follow your hose. Just make sure you don't have any kinks in your hose. Okay? If you don't have any kinks in your hose, let's go up. Right above your concentrator is your home field, the machine on top. Let's make sure that you have that machine turned on when filling your tank. Okay? And it should read, you get below normal. After it reads this tank and make sure that it, um, how much oxygen is in this tank or if it's empty or not, it'll click over the filler. After the process is done with checking the tank, it'll start filling. From filling, it'll go to full, it'll light up green, and you'll know that this tank is full. At that point, you turn your machine off, and then you can retrieve your oxygen tank off. So, you said that it's not filling, those yes. are some of the things that you want to check to make sure. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're under two liters. So you're under two liters on your liter flow. Yes, sir. And just make sure that um, your tank is down inside the um, nozzle correctly. And one of the other things is that we didn't mention, make sure that the bottle is off or closed. Your tank has to be closed because if it's not closed, your oxygen is leaking out of these ports right here, out of the hose right here. The oxygen is constantly leaking. So as you're filling, if this tank is not closed, it's seeping and it's not going to fill. So make sure this is closed. Always turn it. Counterclockwise turns it on. Well, clockwise turns it on and counterclock turns it off. Righty tighty, lefty loosey type thing. Okay? So once that's done and it's secure, put it down over the top, secure it, snap it in, give it a little tug, not pull up on it hard, just a little tug, make sure it's in there secure, and now you can start the process of filling your, your, um, your tank. Shouldn't have any problems after that, but if you do, at that point, then you call the office and one of my guys will come out.